After the 2020 draft, MLW has become more stacked than ever with the additions of Jimmy Norp, Nick Saylor, and many others into the league. So in today's video, I'm going to be ranking the top 10 players in MLW Wiffleball as of August 23, 2022 after the Oklahoma series. So for number 10, we have the Jose Altuve of Wiffleball, Alec Warda. Like Altuve, he carries his team like a backpack, either for the better or for the worse. His pitching is worse than Drew Davis. And to add on to that, he is a very aggressive base runner. Fair ball, safe. And Warner takes another base, and he's gonna score one base for each each runner. Warner is the most aggressive runner in this league. And at number nine, we have the Brendan Baranowski. After striking out 26 batters in the Magic game and allowing no runs, Baran is easily in my top 10. And also, in that Mallards game where Drew pulled out Baron, Baron's absence on the mound was shown. And they blew a 2-0 lead like they did in the World Series. And that one is caught by Noah! Doubles him up! And the Mallards win the World Series! They come back from a 2-0 deficit in the series, and they win it. They win the next three. <laughs> and until Bian gets a win, Baranowski is a must-have for the Cobras. And here's Baron's stats, not reading them out because I'm assuming you guys have eyes. 8, I'm late, can't debate, Christopher Cheatham is number 8, aka the backpack of the Gators. Because that's what Cheatham does, carry the Gators like a backpack. Cheatham is a great player on a really bad team, carried them to the World Series 2020. Also, the Gators are lacking depth, even with their new draft pick Reese Harris, they still don't have enough players. At number 7, we got Tommy Coughlin III. After drafting Jordan Robles, Coughlin has played really well. Like Jordan Poole after he sees a hot girl in the stands, Coughlin also bats over 300, and has 4 home runs and 16 RBIs. And yes, if you have hope, just even a little, you can play way better, which Coughlin has shown this season and the 2017 season. So guys, do you think the Mallards are going to make the World Series? So guys, make sure to comment below, and also like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video so far. For number 6, we have Dirty Dan, Daniel Schultz, aka the Peyton Manning of this league, if you consider it. I don't know if you do. And Daniel's Eagles are an absolute fire. With an 8-1 record halfway through the season, which, well, their only loss being the Magic, yes, the Metro Magic. Magic are putting up a fight though. And he walks them the Magic. Win it in five. One nothing final score. After a very, very entertaining pitcher. Is the only team that beat the Eagles. And they're not even in the playoffs. <laughs> But honestly, how are you 8-1 and, and your only loss is a team who's not even in the playoffs? Like, come on. But more about Daniel Schultz. He has a .68 ERA. A .68 ERA. And he also has three wins and one loss. Well, of course that one loss being to the Magic. <laughs> and he walks up the Magic. Win it in five. Bro, even his shadow is mad. And talking about shadows, we have number five, Mr. Daniel Schultz's shadow, Ryan Cratch. Walks him around, walks him around. Grounder. Oh, Makes oh, 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 it. Oh, oh, Safe at first. Oh, and it's tied. Oh, and the Cobras win. Yes. They advance to the ALCS. Let's go. On an hey, Daniel unbelievable Schultz's shadow, play. baby. Daniel Schultz's shadow. Let's go. Is there ever a season where Cratch doesn't have an ERA sub one? But anyways, Cratch is an absolute gun for the Preds. And without Cratch, the Preds would just suck. Like the magic. But if everything goes right for the Preds this season and in the postseason, they have a chance to make the World Series. And also possibly win it, even though that's very unlikely. In my opinion, I don't know. 
Also, Crotch is the best batter on his team, batting above 300, and also is the best pitcher, well, obviously, with an ERA of .95. So if the Preds get another pitcher-batter threat, then they could easily make the World Series. But it honestly depends how everyone steps up this season and next season, and also in the postseason. Okay guys, so I know I'm late, but Jason Chadwick has requested a trade from the Magic. I think the Preds can get him. They have the pieces, and I think they should get him. What do you guys think? Comment below. Number 4, Nick Saylor. Saylor is easily in my top 4. Why? Because he's probably the best batter in the league, power and contact. Also, he has a very good arm with that knuckleball. And also, he helped the Wildcats reach the 2020 and 2021 World Series, which they both lost. Center field! Is it gonna carry? It's gone! First pitch! Chris Cheatham! Oh my goodness! Got a piece off the hands, into play! Into right field! North mounting second, he's coming home! He's safe! Diamondbacks win! Michael Seema! Walk off base hit! Do you believe it? Unbelievable match. Okay, now we're heading to our top three of our list. And for number three, I got Dallas Allen. Oh my, Dallas Allen. Dallas Allen is both the best pitcher and batter on the best team in MLW. Dallas bats .385 and for his pitching, he has a 0 ERA and a 5-0 record. Sweet drive, Jonas Heath! And it hits them, and the D-backs win the series. Oh, what a day at the Meadows. Never mind. Number two, Jordan Robles. Well, this is a no-brainer for me. Robles has a batting average of .378, and he has an ERA of, wait, let me check, um, 2.61. It's pretty good, guys. And remember, Robles is not used to the MLW standards for pitching and batting. And I believe he is one of the best wiffle ball players in the entire world. And next year, he could be on my number one. And for number one, Jimmy Norp. Well, for me, this is also a no-brainer. I mean, Norp is a good player on a bad team because Heath and Shima haven't really stepped up. But Heath in that Eagles series stepped up massively and also Shima. So guys, what do you think about my list? Do you agree or disagree? Feel free to comment below and subscribe because more bangers are coming out soon. See ya.